So people and companies need to change because if we don't change, there will be no earth for us in the future, for our children, for our kids. So if a person or many, many people decide to embark on sustainable initiatives, then I think it, the earth will be a better place and my kids would have a better future. Welcome again to the Grad One Podcast and today we'll have another episode of where we delve into the dynamic world of industry trends and insider hacks tailor-made for fr fresh graduates and experienced professionals on their career journey. And today, if you, if you drive around PJ, you'll definitely see like the Avengers Stark Tower <laughs> right <laughs> around there. And I'm here at TM Tower <laughs> with three amazing talents from TM. Oh, thank, thank you. <laughs> so, um, let's start with a round of introductions. Oh, okay, maybe start with me. Okay. <laughs> uh, hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Chu. All right, so um, I'm in TM Global doing marketing. And basically, everything relates to um, going to the public. You see events in the international events and all those things. Yeah, probably you are seeing my team there. That's what I do. Cool. Hi, uh, I'm Izni. Um, I am in strategic, mar uh, sorry, strategic marketing, strategic comms. So I've been doing comms for 11 years, comms and marketing, you got a bit of marketing. Uh, right now, I'm the head of internal communications where we look at all the messaging or engagements that need to happen with, uh, we call Warga TM, uh, our staff with Warga TM. Yeah, that's me. Okay, me. All right. Hi, Assalamualaikum. Morning. So my name is uh, Nurani Isha, but you can call me Nani. So if Chu and Jini from TM, I'm from Yayasan TM, and I'm doing for branding and also humanitarian aid for YTM and also TM. So usually you will see my face during the disaster phase. <laughs> during the disaster phase. <laughs> there you go. Those are our three talents today. We have Chu, Jini, and Nani. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining me today. Pleasure. So honored to have these amazing people from TM here in our podcast. So today, we're here to talk about corporate sustainability, embedding environmental and social responsibility in business practices, which is also <coughs> one of our forum topics that you will see at the Grad One Aspire Plus conference. So, um, okay, starting off with the first question, why do you guys think corporate sustainability is important in today's business landscape? Okay, let's give it to Chu again. Yeah. Man first. Man <laughs> first. Man first. <laughs> right. Um, sustainability, um, I guess it's a word that is a hype word right now. Uh, not very foreign for a lot of people, but um, the, the, the chances is that how much people actually know about it. Right. So sustainability, um, I probably when we were kids, we were talking about 3R. We are talking about recycle, reuse, and yep. reduce, those kind of things. Um, but is that really all? Right? Um, so um, we are talking about making the environment more sustainable so that it can last longer for human, not just human, but also the nature. Um, so when it comes to the question about corporate sustainability, why corporate has to look, um, pay more attention into this, is that um, if we are looking at individual, um, the rubbish that we, cre that we create or the wastage that we are created, it's at a very individual level. But when corporate, um, especially a big company yeah, like big us. Company like the right? Mega. Where we also have presence in the international. Um, the, the the chances that we are uh, we would look in, we we are creating wastage. Um, you are talking at an international level. At the very big, it's, I mean, the, the the scale that we are looking, especially when it come to corporate, um, it's huge. Um, thus. There is a responsibility, at least that's what I think. Um, corporate should look into sustainability and really to, to start looking into how to protect our environment because the earth is where we live. Why look into going to Mars when earth is the best home for us? 
right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you're right. Yeah, when we 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 looking at out, but then our homegrown home area is not being addressed, right? So to add to choose a uh, point is. <coughs> Big companies play a big role. You know when they say, uh, "With big, with great power comes great responsibility." Yeah. Instead about responsibility, right? So, uh, TM is a mega company, big company. I'm speaking on on my own opinion. Uh, it's a big company, and in today's business landscape, it plays a big role. Like you said, the resources, the things that we use, it's not always going to be there forever. At one point, at one one day in the future, it's going to finish. So, what's there for our kids, our future, uh, our future generation, our leaders? So that's why, um, you know, corporate sustainability is very, very important in today's business landscape for us and for the future. Yes, I think I agree with both of you. But uh, if let's say I can add, um, like um, I will look into brand and reputation. So especially for TM, I mean like we are big companies in Malaysia. So when we are doing for corporate and also sustainability programs, it will give a very good uh, image and branding to our companies. So people will say like, oh, TM not only busy finding money, <laughs> okay, but also uh, we are giving back to the community, we are giving back to the society and we also giving back to um, our government with our corporate and sustainability programs. That is my opinion. Yeah, we are like we should be the caretaker. So a yeah. big company, you should be the caretaker. You have the big responsibility. You have the power. So I think it's it's really, really important in today's business. And landscape. I think when, when we when we the big company doing something like a good things, so people will say like, okay, why we are not doing that also? Mm. You know? So when mm. we do good things, people will do the same thing. Leader yeah. by example. Yes, yes. Say, definitely. Right? Right. All right, much to think about. Thank you so much guys for sharing your insights. So um, so we talk about how um, Telecom Malaysia as a large company with great power comes great responsibility, right? Yeah. So I'm sure TM Malaysia has done a lot of efforts to contribute to sustainability. So, um, talking about TM Malaysia's um, sustain sustainability journey, how has um, TM engaged with local communities um, and contributed to the social responsibility programs? Okay, so I think I can answer your questions. So, um, like me, um, within this 10, 10, 11 years with TM and doing corporate responsibility. Um, yes, TM, we do engage with the community, okay, with all our programs. Like, um, and we not only engage with one uh, focused community, but we engage with orang kata like macam uh, all, all round. Every, yeah, uh, students, every classes. Yeah, uh, every, every classes. Roles. So, uh, uh, students, B40 families. Uh, entrepreneurship and mm. also uh, people who struggle during disaster uh, phase, you know. So in TMs via Yayasan TM actually, um, Yayasan TM is known as our uh, TMs arm for CSR program. So we do connect and we do engage with the community. So uh, via our three pillars. So in YTM, we have three pillars. So we have education, we have uh, community and nation building, and also art, culture, and heritage, which we help uh, the community based on the pillars. Okay, example, like uh, in education. So uh, as now, we already um, help uh, 18,000 scholars, students who need uh, fund for, the, uh, for their, to, uh, for their studies abroad and also in Malaysia. Yeah, with mm. amount uh, 600 million to date. Mm. Uh, so uh, for the like community uh, development and uh, national uh, development, we help those um, B40s uh, families um, like uh, who struggle during uh, I mean, you know, during disaster mm. because you know when when disaster strikes, so you like will banjir, yeah. banjir yeah. and everything, right? So Especially then like during the pandemic time. Yes, pandemic. Mm. So Nani we actually went down to the banjir. Oh, scene. you did. Yeah, oh, did. Oh, yeah. Insha Allah. Ah, uh, Insha Allah. In actually all around Malaysia, oh, uh, wow. I, I came okay. down to help the to help them. 
mm-hmm. uh, giving um, like resources, uh, resor- food, uh, foods and blanket. everything. I see. And we also uh, not only giving that kind of bantuan, but we also give uh, af- post. Post disaster, disaster, which is we giving them training how they can survive after the disaster and like maybe heal from the trauma as well. Yes, uh, so we bring all those uh, agents, government agencies together with us to help and giving their like motivations and everything. And we also not uh, touched for the community, so we also go for the government agencies as well. So we work together and like for the culture and. Uh, Art heritage also, um, we have our two museums in uh, Malaysia, actually for under Talikom. So oh, we, okay. Yeah. What are the two museums? Uh, this is uh, Museum Talikom in KL, mm-hmm. and also one is Museum Telegraph. So both museum is uh, we we promote the art, culture, and heritage in Malaysia. This also falls under sustainability yes. because yes. there's yeah. all these pillars of uh, environment, we mm. have the social yeah. and then yeah. there's the governance. Yes, so we look I, at 360. I, I bet our audience actually don't know we have <laughs> museum. Yes, a lot of people said... I wait, think uh, I know one, I didn't know you have two. Yeah. Yeah. The, the have second two. one is in Taiping. Taiping. Right. Uh, yeah, uh, the telegraph. The telegraph. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Most people that oh, oh, TM got museum. Oh, TM got museum. Yeah. Yeah. TM do this, TM do this. Yes, we yeah. are doing all things. Yeah, it's so it's so great to see TM doing their part in helping not only like one or two groups of community in Malaysia, but like there's so many out there who needs help. And yeah. you guys have done your part in providing the assistance that they need. Right. We try our best. Yeah. <laughs> we try our best. <laughs> Okay, so um, the next question, since you've done a lot of these initiatives, right? Um, what do you think are some of the key challenges that companies, including TM, face when trying to end uh, sustainability into your business practice? Okay, so um, maybe I'll say this for general, in for any company, pun, when they want to go into sustainability. So the thing is about sustainability is fairly new. So this is like the buzzword that Chu said. Back then, it was digital. Remember? When everybody right, right. was like, oh, we need to go digital, we need yes. to go digital. And then now it's sustainability and ESG and uh, Diversity, CSR. Equity, yes, inclusion. inclusion. <laughs> so it's a lot. So in order for a company to go on that journey, it takes a bit of planning, it takes a bit, put a bit more thought into it, whether the company really needs to do it, the vast of their, the resources that they use, the product that they keluarkan, is it, does it, do they need to go into the sustainability punya uh, road? So that's one. And then another is, of course, for me, maybe it's the budget. So when you think of, you know, want to go into something different, you have to think of the funds, the finances, again, the resources that goes into it. So it's not just easy as, you know, okay, let's start. It's not. Sustainability stretches across the board and Mm. you have to, you know, have a bit of more thought into it. And I think all the businesses need to have that. Yeah, I agree. Mm. Yeah. So, uh, again, it starts off with the niat lah. Awal-awal tu, before you think about the budget and everything, it starts with the, you know, the yeah. intent. Like you have to know that you want to help people and it's not just for your um, organization's image. Yes, for your profit. Mm. Uh, you know, it's not just about that. You have to look beyond your profit. And in order for you to look beyond that, that company has to have a good amount of profit first, right? For you to go into sustainability. So I think that is one of the key challenges that some companies uh, face. First off, you've got to see whether you're making your top line, mm. your ROI is coming. And then after that, maybe then you'll think about how you want to give back to uh, you yeah. know the environment, social. So I think that's for me, two would be the budget, the money, and the niat. I think another one would be the culture. 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 I think culture is the... Habit. Yeah, yeah. Paling susah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because you're so used to, you know, living off uh, buang sampah yang macam, you know, you eat, tak recycle, and yeah. then you just yeah. throw yeah. macam tu je. For you to change that culture in yourself, susah. You want to change that in a company, it's even harder. Yes. So, yeah, I think that's three for me, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah I completely agree. Thank you, thank you, uh, Jeannie, for sharing. Sure. So, um, now, I think we have not heard much from Chu. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, I have a question for you. Right. Um, in your opinion, what are the most pressing sustainability challenges that businesses in Malaysia are currently facing? So, um, Jeannie was speaking from like... A, 
uh, company yeah, ROI. Yeah, 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 correct. It's Ac- actually, um, my my point of view is kind of very in line with Jeannie. Mm-hmm. Um, money is actually really, really a, a big challenge mm-hmm. for a lot of people to look into sustainability. Just just give an example, right? Um, just plucking the example from Nani, you're talking about museums. The museum that we have is an old building. And for you to sustain that old building, maintenance has to be done. You need to fork out a budget for it. Lot of a <laughs> lot, <laughs> of lot of budget. <laughs> Tell me about it. A lot of budget to put into it, right? So that's one of a, a very big concern to a lot of the company, um, especially some companies that are even struggling to even pay their, their, yeah. their, the salary for the, yeah, for the staff. Yeah, their employees. Yeah. Right. So um, talking about sustainability, this piece of topic, um, you can't really run away with budget, money. It's something that um, a lot of company that I think... Um, Cannot run away. It's something that it's that it's there. Yeah, it's harder uh, to help other people when you're struggling exactly. as well. Yeah, so, yes, so it's definitely. not something help that you should. <laughs> it's not something that you should ignore about it. You should acknowledge about it. Uh, that is that is a challenge. That is a challenge. Going to sustainability. Going to green. Um, another example, right? Do you know Malaysia? Our electricity tariffs is one of the lowest in the in the world. Mm-hmm. Yes, I've heard. Malaysia. Right, um, our tariff is about twenty one point eight cent. If I'm if I remember correctly from TNB, if we were to convert it to USD, that is about zero point zero four cent That's USD. Really wow, low. when you put it that way, <laughs> yeah, it's very 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 low kilowatt per hour. Now, if you were to compare, now we, we we put another comparison, right? UK, their electricity tariffs. Is about zero point four cent, four cent USD. So if we were to do the comparison, UK in UK, um, the electricity tariffs is ten times higher than us. I have never thought about that. That's crazy, actually. Exactly. So now, um, when when you put that into perspective, right? Um, we are talking about um, cutting electricity usage. Uh, we're trying to put in technologies, investing things like LEDs, uh, in investing something like um, green air conditionings and all those things. But investing into this system will cost you a bomb. Millions. But our electricity, the, the, the amount of uh, electricity, yeah, we, we, we cut it down the electricity consumption by 40%, 50%. But when it translates into a uh, budget, how much that we are using for our electricity? It probably like ten thousand, twenty thousand. Compared to the whole system, I'm spending a million. ROI would spend like ten years, twenty years. It doesn't fit in the the the, the business model anymore. It doesn't justify the ROI. So, put it in that in in that way, it becomes a challenge, especially like for country like us in Malaysia, where our electricity is very, tariffs is very very low. So, so yeah, that's at least what I think um, one of the very big challenge, uh, especially when it comes to corporate investing into sustainability, um, is coming to budget. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and you really have to acknowledge these challenges because that's how you know you have to improve on that. Yeah. You have to work harder. Yep. Yep. Right. Thank you so much, Chu. So I think we're reaching the end of the podcast already. So the last question I have for all of you is... Um, do you have any final thoughts or key takeaways for our listeners regarding the importance of corporate sustainability and social responsibility? Tadi Chu dah start. Anyway. <laughs> okay, so uh, actually um, my personal my personal like um, advice, okay? So actually um, Sustainability, embracing corporate sustainability or responsibility is not only a responsibility nowadays. It's a like um, is opportunity eh, for me. Okay, opportunity for us to giving back to the communities, to giving back to the companies. You know, so um, 
for me uh, personally uh, we need to do more we need to create the awareness people need to know their responsibility and what they need to do okay to open the opportunity because uh, the, the sustainability is not for like short term thingy is a long yeah. term you yeah. cannot say like oh i already already um like i already do. did my part so i'm done uh, yeah <laughs> no no because what you are doing right now the 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 effect or the impact you you only can see maybe 10 to Correct, like yeah. 20 years like after the this. results aren't immediate but you'll yeah. see it in the future for the future generations yes so anything if you want to do you need to do now and don't say like okay lah no need lah uh, people already do that so i just uh, you know uh, i can do tomorrow yeah, yeah. that's a mm. typical mindset yeah for a lot of people, so right? if you want to do good or you know to do like the stas- for the sustain thingy do now don't start today not tomorrow right definitely start today not tomorrow <laughs> 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 start today not tomorrow yeah. okay rani <laughs> <You got that. laughs> Okay, uh, so Mia, for me, I think uh, my final say is okay. Actually, I just want to say there's a research on Deloitte that says 10 out of nine millennials prefer companies who pay more attention on environment and has a say and plays a part in ESG and sustainability. So from there, we can see that there's a shift in our generation. The new generations now, the ones that are watching us right now, are very more into Uh, keeping the environment safe, you know, keeping the earth safe for the future and all the sustainability, the mental health, everything encapsulated in that. So, and this is also for the companies lah and to the people. So you've seen that people are changing, mindsets are changing, accepting things are changing. So people and companies need to change because if we don't change, there will be no earth for us in the future, for our children, for our kids. So it starts from, yes, a company pun kena tengok, but it starts from that one person because a company is being led by people, not an uh, entity. So if a person or many, many people hmm. decide to embark on sustainable initiatives, then I think it, the earth would be a better place and my kids would have a better future. Yeah, that's so right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely agree with my peers <laughs> yeah. today. Yeah, so um, not just about st- start now. Uh, maybe start now, a lot of people think, ah, sustainability is something that is so big. Um, what I would say, um, not just start now, start small as well. Yeah. Let's do something. Yeah. Let's do something. Um, be responsible for whatever things that we are doing um, not just from 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 ourselves from the corporate let's start from something small um, we can come even from the angle as in having that awareness as small as having that awareness how much wastage that we are creating every day right um, having a uh, no, well something that we are talking about <laughs> the other day Digitalization is is actually we have done that. We are talking about digitalization. Use digital um, technologies to help in trackings about mm-hmm. what we are using. We don't know how much we are spending, and un- until we actually start tracking it yep. and start seeing it, and when you seeing it, then you start to realize the impact that we are putting into things. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, from my, should, yeah. Yeah. From my perspective. Yeah, I think we should play like environmental ambassador or a steward, like yeah. just to spread the awareness. Mm-hmm. So awareness is one thing, and then the action comes after that. Exactly, so yeah. you are aware. What's the next step? Mm-hmm. All right. So thank you so much, you guys, for sharing. It was so. It was such an insightful You're session. Welcome. So for yeah. the last part before we close the the session, um, maybe any. Final advices for our fresh graduates who are also passionate about sustainability, who are also 
dream of making a better place for the future generations and maybe we'll see you at the upcoming Graduate Inspire Plus conference yes yeah. our big boss uh, our sustainability <laughs> head um, Dr. Sumi will be there to speak more on sustainability and more on uh, how TM is uh, doing sustainability uh, and also to our fresh grads or you know that you are watching and you have an interest in sustainability I would say go for it because again it's like the new digital uh, your skills that you have in that will be sought after in the future or in any time point in the coming years I presume yep. so yeah go for it do your research uh, seek out the companies that you know have ESG rule upper initiatives in their business model yeah thank you so much Jini so that's all for today see you guys at the next podcast and don't forget to register for the upcoming Graduate Aspire Plus conference See you See there. You. Bye. Bye.